زه کوشش کوم چې دولت ته شکست ورکړم دولت کوشش کوي چې ما ورکړي اخر خو دې ته مجبور یو چې یو بل به تر هغه وخته وژنو In Afghanistan, the Taliban are back and taking city after city from government forces as foreign troops withdraw. Many people here fear a return to their brutal regime of the 90s, characterized by public executions, stonings and girls being banned from school. I'm Yalda Hakim and I'm meeting with a Taliban peace negotiator as well as with the Taliban commander in charge of 300 fighters in a bid to understand what lies ahead for Afghanistan. Are the Taliban ready to compromise or is the country once again about to descend into chaos? I traveled to Doha, Qatar, the scene of peace talks between the Taliban and the government. Those talks are now at a standstill, but the Taliban's political office in Doha has previously said it wants to work alongside the current government. For the last 15 years, Taliban peace negotiator Sohail Shaheen has lived here with his family. If you were to return to Kabul, how would you govern? There was in the past some mistakes that we have learned from because at that time, you were new to the government. To stop education of women and girls, that is not our goal. Of course, education is their right, and it is much needed. And uh, when they receive education, they, of course, it is, uh, they have a right uh, to, to work and about stoning. According to my knowledge, uh, though I'm not a religious uh, scholar, it is very difficult to find a proof to stone a woman. It is, if it is not uh, impossible, but it is very, very difficult. While Suhail Shaheen continues to talk about peace, it's clearly not a view shared by Taliban commanders closing in on Afghanistan cities. <laughs> Back in Helmand, Commander Maulana leads 300 fighters close to capturing the key province from the government. If we talk about law and order and, and justice, if someone were to steal or commit adultery, what should happen to them? But in your district and in the villages that you live and fight, do girls go to school? And if so, until what age? Increasingly, it appears there is a disconnect between what is being said by the political office in Doha and what the Taliban commanders and foot soldiers are doing on the ground in Afghanistan. But the vice president of Afghanistan remains defiant. This group in Doha, they are a deceptive facade of a very dark reality called the Taliban. So in your view, have they changed? No, not only they have not changed, they have become savvier in deceiving. With the government adamant to defy a new era of Sharia law and the Taliban making significant gains, Afghans now seem to be caught up in a savage war that has taken on a life of its own.